Now, if you've seen my previous video on Vanquish, you'll know that for me, the most bullshit trophy in the game was the Tactical Challenger trophy for beating all six Tactical Challengers, but I think there are also a few other annoying trophies in the game that are definitely worth a mention. First up is the Flash King of the Impossible, and this was the final trophy I needed on the PS4 version, and I remember it giving me a bit of trouble back on the PS3 version as well, so I think there's definitely something up with this trophy, as it just seems really stubborn, and it kind of refuses to unlock a lot of the times. So in order to get it, you need to get four kills at the same time with one shot of the lock-on laser, which is easier said than done because I was trying to do this throughout the game's story when I was playing through doing my collectibles run, so I was always aware of it. But the problem is, you can't determine which enemies the lock-on lasers will lock onto. It's all done automatically, even if you're pointing at four enemies, it might just go on to two or three of them instead. So that's always a bit of an issue. And even when you do get it on four separate enemies, a lot of the times, some of them will die sooner uh, than others as they're closer to you. So it's not always at the same time. I thought this section here would be a perfect spot for it as all of those red robots stay in place so you can easily hit them but try as I might I could never kill four at the same time so eventually I settled on this section of one of the other levels after looking up a guide as in this tunnel you get these large creatures when you destroy those they'll drop a load of little spider type enemies and you can just shoot those with the lock on laser and they will die with one uh, hit of the laser so they're easy to kill you just have a bit of randomness as to whether you'll find a lock on laser in one of the chests so you might have to restart this section a few times and be careful of going further into the tunnel because you'll get another checkpoint and lose the area that you're in with those enemies but even with this technique of using it on these smaller, weaker enemies, I still struggled to actually kill four at the same time, because again, the lock-on laser just has a mind of its own and locks onto whatever the hell it wants, even if it does it multiple times. So I was constantly restarting the section to try it again and again and again, and even when I did eventually get it, it didn't really feel like I did it, because there was other times where I got better shots off where I didn't get the trophy and it's just yeah I think there is definitely something up with this trophy because it just seems really finicky and it has to be really spot on I mean if I fire it at four enemies and all four of them die I should get the trophy it shouldn't have to be within a split second of each other fuck's sake but that's not all of my issues with some of the trophies in Vanquish because there's another one that also pissed me off Though this one was probably for my own dumb mistakes more than anything, and it is the Fisher is the other Sam trophy for proceeding on the monorail in Act 3-4 without alerting anyone. So this is a sort of stealth section where you're on uh, a monorail, so it's an on the rails section where you're supposed to snipe out a bunch of different searchlights as the monorail goes along its track so you need to shoot them out before the, sp the spotlights uh, see you and raise the alarm and all of this is really easy and it's quite a bit of a, a boring sort of section of the game to be honest because it's just it, it, it's just dull it's a really dull and slow paced section of the game and after taking out a couple more groups of searchlights, the monorail will eventually pass under a second bridge, and it's here where the bullshit occurs, as off in the distance you can see this gunship flying overhead, and you get such a small window of opportunity in order to take this gunship out by shooting the pilot who's on top, and yeah, it's, it, it's easily missed. And you would think when it just flies over and nothing happens that you're okay. So then you would go back to the front of the monorail to take out the searchlights. But then this happens. Great, so now all hell has broken loose, the alarm's been raised and I've now voided this trophy, so all I can do at this point is restart this level, and restarting this section absolutely sucks balls. 
because not only are you put back at the start of the monorail section, it's on rails and you can't speed it up, so you just have to wait for the monorail to go down its track and then shoot out all the bloody searchlights again and then wait even more for you to get to that second bridge and by that point you'll just be so bored of waiting that you'll probably easily just mess it up because you've just got distracted by something else in the room that you're in because you've just been waiting to get there so long that time has just passed and you just forgot what you're even fucking doing and then when it does come you gotta hope that you can get it quick enough and not mess it up and I would definitely recommend going into the slow-mo mode don't try and just snipe it out normally. No, God, please, no! Oh, no! No! So yeah, once you take out that flying ship, you're pretty much set for the rest of the level. There's a few more sets of searchlights to easily snipe out, but there's nothing else like that flying gunship that are going to cause you trouble. So you'll easily get the trophy, but yeah, it just... It, it's not that hard, don't get me wrong, it, it is an easy trophy, but that little gunship that just comes out of nowhere with such a little time frame to get it was just really annoying, and that is why these are the other bullshit trophies in Vanquish. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.